Hello everyone, in the previous video I have shown you how to connect accelerometer MPU6050 with ESP32 and then visualize the sensor data in 3D using an application developed using QT framework for Windows. And now in today's video, I will show you a demo of the Android application, which is visualizing the same cube in real time on an Android phone with the data received over Bluetooth. The Android application consists of a combo box, which will display the list of all available Bluetooth devices, and from here we can select our Bluetooth device, and then there are three push buttons available, which are named as Connect, Disconnect and Search. As the name suggests, the Connect button is used to establish the connection with ESP32, and will trigger the process to receive the accelerometer roll and pitch values, while the Disconnect button is used to disconnect the Android application from the ESP32 Bluetooth. The Disconnect button is disabled by default and is available only when the device is actually connected. Similarly, the last button which is the search button, which is used to trigger again the discovery agent to search the available Bluetooth devices present nearby. When this button is pressed the list of available device names and the list of available device addresses are cleared and the whole discovery process is triggered again. The search button is disabled when the Android and ESP32 are connected with each other. The roll and pitch labels are used to display the angles of individual values on the screen, while the 3D cube will position itself in the 3D space based on the roll and pitch values received. Now, let's watch the demo. Before proceeding further, I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. With more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication, they are committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different different industries in terms of the quality, delivery, cost effectiveness, and any other demanding requests. They are one of the most experienced PCB manufacturers in the world. I hope my video's viewers will visit their website at least once to show their offerings. Now, let's discuss about the source code. The code is not very complex to understand and can be downloaded from the GitHub page. Links are available in the description of this video. Initially, I planned to show you guys how to build this project from scratch, but then I realized it will become a very very long video, so I decided that it will be better to give you guys some idea about the code, and you can download it from the GitHub link and fine-tune it according to your needs. And in case you have some questions, feel free to contact me. I am using the QML to design the front end, and mostly it is similar to the desktop application, which I have developed in the previous video, so you can take reference from there. The only difference is a combo box and three extra buttons, technically we can add all these widgets in the previous project for displaying the available communication ports, and also to connect and disconnect. Then instead of serial manager, we have here Bluetooth Manager, which searches for the available Bluetooth devices and then populate them on the combo box on the QML side. Whenever we receive some data over Bluetooth from the ESP32, we call the set roll and set pitch function, which will automatically emit a signal, and on the QML side the slot functions are called, which will handle the 3D visualization of the cube and also updating the label with the roll and pitch values. That's all from my side. Let me know in the comment sections if you have some question. If you like this video, press the like button and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.